But let's head back outside now for a live look over campus. Marcius, Hallie back checking out the forecast for us. Hallie, I can see the Christmas tree. I know it hasn't been lit up yet, uh, but we're not quite going to dip into the lows, not for a couple days. Though. Right, we have a couple more days and then we're going to see some bigger changes uh, for the weekend. So warming up again today, tomorrow especially, even holding on into Friday, Veterans Day, before that cold front moves through and then it turns into a much colder weekend overall. Now this morning we did start in the 30s. It was chilly, 39 for a low, 36 is an average low, 52 is an average high. So when we're talking about temperatures in the 60s today, well above that average high for this time in November. It's 57 degrees in Ann Arbor, it's 58 Pontiac at a 60 for you in Detroit right now. We're seeing rain back to our west and even up to the north. A little bit of cloud cover in that direction too. We should hold tight with the dry air. We're looking at the cold front to come through. This is a, a slow moving system overall, as I mentioned, sweeps through on Friday. The effects of it more noticeable as we go into Saturday. So we're looking at sunshine today. Temperatures into the low to mid 60s looking great, milder with sunshine. And then we focus our attention on tomorrow. That's when we'll start to bring in that warmer air out ahead of that low pressure system temperatures to start is going to be mild 51 at 8 o'clock by noon. We're already into the mid 60s with a high near 70 or 71 degrees tomorrow. Now that cold front does pack a punch once it moves through on Friday. So behind it on Saturday, that's our temperature drop 43 degrees on Saturday, and it may just be cold enough to get a little rain, maybe even a few wet snowflakes to mix in on that on Saturday and then temperatures on Sunday, maybe even a bit colder with a high near 40 and there's no warm up into early next week. Our highs in the 40s, our lows will be